if I betray you, I betray myself. If I betray him, I betray my country. My country is very dear to me. Dearer than I? No. No, not dearer than you. Almost fun. What, you think me and your mom don't got a lot going on? Wait until you get out on your own in the world and have real responsibilities. Hey, is not talking back. Oh, that's supposed to be smart. Stop it. I just said you fucking alien eyes at me when I'm talking. I didn't fool me. I said you fucking 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 f
Okay, bye. I was so young when I behaved 25 Yet now I find I've grown into a toad Reveals that small children who were treated badly by their parents will always, rather oddly, blame themselves and not their parents for their injuries. They hate who they are rather than hating those who've done them wrong. Small children immediately notice when they're not loved as much as they might and need to be. They understand nothing of the reasons for this hard-heartedness, but they feel all of the pain. And yet they need to locate some kind of explanation nevertheless, and so they quickly and intuitively settle on one that almost always feels most compelling to them, that they have done something wrong. Why is mummy so agitated? Because they've done something wrong. Why is daddy so cold? Because they've done something wrong. Why aren't they being treated kindly? Because they've done something wrong. Why is their little sister being preferred to them? Because they've done something wrong. Suddenly it hit me. I am the fuck-up child. Everything I do, I always find a way to screw it all up. I'm never going to be my parents' favorite no matter the effort I put into them. I crave their attention. You're just exaggerating about everything. There are children who live on the streets, children who need to survive in war. They have it far worse than you. I've heard parents say this way too many times to their children, yet they are also the parents that wonder why their kids don't open up to them about their issues. It's always, if you just open up to us, we can help you. Even after it's too late, parents continue to say, if only they opened up to us, we could have helped. I hate those type of parents, honestly. They tell their kids to stop exaggerating or lying or complaining or whatever, but they are also the people that wonder how it was that their kids never even slightly dared to talk about their feelings with them. So here's a message to those parents. Don't tell your kids to stop exaggerating. How about you listen to them for once? Try listening to what they have to say. Try to be actually there for your kids. That's also part of the job of being a parent. But apparently you guys are starting to forget that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hi. Why are we still talking about this? I mean, really? Christ! No, don't do this to me. I know, I'm sorry. Shit's so damn embarrassing, like.